Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. I have such a fun, exciting video to share with you all. I'm gonna be sharing with you a shopping haul video. I mean, who doesn't love a good shopping haul video? And just in case you're a little confused over the background, I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. And before we get started with this shopping haul video, I have noticed that we have a few new subscribers. And I just want to say for those of you who are new, a huge welcome. I'm so happy you're here. If you're just checking me out, checking out my content, if you enjoy this video and you're into everything beauty, be sure to smash that subscribe button and to turn on your notification bell. That way you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And I'm just gonna say this, you're gonna wanna stick around, especially if you're into everything beauty. And I also wanna say welcome to all of you who are returning, who have been following me for quite a while. I'm just happy to have you all here with me. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love all of your support. Let's go ahead and get into this shopping haul. The first item I am going to share with you, I was at Walmart with my husband doing grocery shopping and I just kind of stumbled upon the body care aisle and I saw these bath bombs by Body Ecology, Coconut Hibiscus. These have eight, they call them bath Fizzies, I call them bath bombs. And I don't know if this is going to shock you, but kind of shocked me. This was under $5. This was under $5. And I grabbed it because I am a fan of anything that smells like coconut. And I don't mind the smell of hibiscus. This says an exotic and enticing combination of sweet coconut and blooming hibiscus. I did try one. I took a nice little bath early, earlier with one of these little bath bombs. It was nice. I might do a little separate like impression type video. Um, it does leave your skin feeling kind of moisturized. Um, enjoy a fragrant moisturizing soak with body collagen. Uh, bath fizzies, bath bombs, I call them bath bombs. Um, they, since each fizzy adds fragrant um, uh, to your bath while delivering skin moisturizing and vitamin E. So I'll keep trying this and I might just let you know what I think about this. Next, I went to Ulta because I needed my disposable beauty sponges and I had been without for quite a while. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind the foundation brush. I'm just not a huge fan of it. I just feel like when I use a beauty sponge, the application of my foundation just kind of goes on a little bit better and smoother. This has 32 sponges in it. This was $3.24. They did have a bigger packet that I think had like 95 I might go back and just pick up one more of these, maybe the 32, I don't know. But just so I have extras, because these are hard to find where I live. Very hard to find. Next, I went to TJ Maxx. And, you know, it's one of my favorite places to go shop at. And I wasn't really impressed with the makeup section. There was nothing there that I absolutely, like, had to have. But I did see a few skincare items that I was interested in, and they were on sale, so I did pick them up. The first item is this Core Clinicals Flawless Priming Serum with Hydroionic Acid and Peptides. This is two fluid ounces, so it softens and hydrates skin for smooth makeup application. This is something I've been needing because my makeup has been looking very cakey and not smooth, definitely not flawless. Um, I've used this now three times. 
and I feel like, I mean, I did, I used it today, and I feel like it really did help with the application of my makeup. My, my face feels not cakey, which is really nice, because I have very dry skin, and I don't know if that's the reason or if it's because I didn't have this in my life, this serum. So definitely going to be trying this out a few more times, and I will come on and share my thoughts about this serum. This, by the way, was $4. I don't know how much it was originally. I don't see it on here, the actual original price. Have any of you tried this brand, this product before? Let me know. I want to know your thoughts about the serum. I also picked up a facial exfoliating scrub because I needed something like this. This is by Precision Beauty. Skin Care Solution, Anti-Aging, Collagen, and Rose Water Exfo Exfoliating Face Scrub. I'm going to tell you something. If you're not a fan of the scent of rose, you will not like this. For me, I'm, I'm also not a huge fan of anything that smells like rose. But this is, for me, is not overpowering. It's not like too much of a scent. But you, you're gonna smell the rose. Let's just let's just say that you're gonna smell the scent of rose. So if you're not a fan at all of that scent, you're not gonna like this. But I have used this once. Um, I do like it. This is it's good too because I need something with collagen. I've never ever have tried any skincare products that has collagen, and it's at my age, I'm 50. Yes, I said it. I, I threw out my age. I'm proud to be 50, and I'm just proud to be 50. And, and yes, I have, I have wrinkles, crinkles. I have the fine lines, and you'll see. For those of you who are new, if you also follow me on my social media sites, definitely follow me on my social media sites. I will have all of those, all of my full, my social media sites linked down in my description down below. Pardon me, I kind of couldn't talk there for a moment. But if you follow me on social media, you're going to see I share raw footage. I share the real deal. It's very, very occasional times that you'll see me with the filter. And if I do use a filter, I will tell you. But majority of the time, I show you me. No filter. The real me. Me with lines, fine lines and all. And believe me, I have them. I have those fine lines. But I'm proud to be my age. So it's time to throw that out there. But... Uh, I'm really excited to, to be trying this because it does have collagen. It says collagen helps to firm lines and wrinkles. We will see. Uh, rose water helps to hydrate and moisturize. I definitely need that. And gentle exfoliation for smoother skin for all skin types. This is 5.75 fluid ounces. This was $3.99. Next, we got Target. So I am looking for some makeup items. I got a few things. Target, if you have the patience to walk through the makeup aisles and really look, there are some deals. There are some sales, really good. You're gonna see the yellow tickets, stickers, whatever they're called. These little yellow sticker, stickers, I think they're stickers. Look for them, there's some good deals. So the first thing I got, and this is my first time trying out anything from ColourPop. I got the ColourPop, uh, what is this, Super Shock Blush in the shade Between the Sheets. This is normally $9. I got it for $4.50, $4.50. And it's a matte blush, Super Shock Blush. I am obsessed. I just swatched it. I, I did my makeup today and totally forgot to use this because I wanted to try this out and I just forgot to grab it. But I definitely will use this in my next time I do my makeup. I hope you can see this. I think you can. Let's see. Right there. really stunning. I first, 
I thought this would be really like dark and it's not. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And like I said, originally $9, I got it for four and a half dollars. I also picked up from Elf my Wow Brow Gel because when I had, it was done. It was finished. Um, I don't know what the shade was of the one I had, but this one is in the shade um, taupe. So hopefully this will work. I mean, it's brown, so I mean, it should be okay. This was, I think, $5. I don't think I have my receipt in here. I don't know where it is, but this was $5. This used to be like $3. I don't know. The prices have gone up, I guess. Uh, next, I did pick up the, this is the Maybelline New York Lifter Gloss with Hydroonic Acid. It's 5.4 milliliters. This, I want to see if I can find the receipt. Um, let me see. I'm just going to see if I can find the receipt. Okay, I found my receipt. So this, the Maybelline Lip Gloss is, was $8.99. And it's really stunning. I mean, this is in the shade 008 Stone. I'm wearing that right now. It's a really pretty, I love the shade. And for that price, I kind of, I kind of want to go and get another shade, because this is, wow, my new favorite lip gloss. I also picked up another Maybelline New York Instant Anti Age Eraser Concealer. This is a corrector multi use. Okay, I've never. This is different. I think than the one I had before. I don't think the one I had before was a corrector. But let me tell you something. I struggled to find the right shade because the shade I had before was shade 07. That shade here does not exist. This is shade 150. And of course, nowadays they don't have testers and I totally understand why. Um, but it makes it really hard to pick the right shade. It is really light. Um, I don't know if I can swatch, if you're gonna see it, really. I don't even know where to swatch. Let's see if I can swatch right here. I don't think you're gonna see it, really. I don't know if you guys can see that, probably not. It's really, 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 really light. But I think I can use this for underneath my eyes and I'm gonna look for another concealer. This, by the way, was, where is it? $8.99, so much cheaper than where I live, so much cheaper. And this is a holy grail. I just need to find the right shade. Uh, I think I have a few more items here. No, I have one more. So I did pick up a foundation because I've been looking for a new foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Long Wear for normal dry skin. That's me, I got really dry skin. Uh, this is in the shade 150 Buff. Um, this has the hydroonic acid, which is the one thing that I was really looking for in a foundation. It also has sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 20, which is a really good thing. I will admit I'm very bad about the sunscreen thing. I don't really use sunscreen. I know, I know, I know. It's bad. I need to be, I need to be, I need to be on top of the sunscreen. I know. This was $12.49. And I know, I, of course, I checked it out when I got home because also no testers. So, and I learned that to make sure you've had the right color is to test it out on your neck. And I did that. And it looks like this is the right shade for me. I'm gonna keep looking because I kind of want to pick up one more. And I think. Oh, I have one more. I have one more thing. So I also had to buy a few t-shirts. Now at Target, my absolute favorite brand is Universal Thread. I love, I'm wearing one now. I love the v-neck. And they are so comfortable. Pardon me, I have to take a sip of water. They are so, so, so comfortable. And you can never go wrong with Universal Thread t-shirts. Um, I did notice the price of these t-shirts have gone up a little bit. They used to be like $8, now they're 10. That doesn't bother me. I need t-shirts and this is the only t-shirt brand I will wear. 
So I picked up two black t-shirts and one brown. Um, the brown t-shirt was actually on sale. This was $7 instead of $10. Um, these are, in my opinion, true to size. So if you normally wear like large and you want it a little bit more comfier, just a little bit, I would size up. I had to size up. Um, I normally wear a large and I had to go up to an XL. And it's not big. It actually fits me beautifully. But this was uh, $7. Let me see if I can show you. Seven dollars instead of ten. Stunning. I actually want to go and pick up another T-shirt. So I have another black, so two blacks and one brown. And I have also at Target my favorite theme, pants-wise, are called jeggings. They're like leggings, but jeggings like jeans, but leggings. You know what I mean. So this is what they look like. They're by the brand A New Day. They are my absolute favorite leggings, jeggings, pants to buy. Um, they're so comfortable. And they really look like jeans. They have little pockets back here. They're so comfortable. So I got a pair in black. These are $20. And yes, it may seem a little pricey, but let me just tell you, it is well worth purchasing these jeggings. They only had one pair in black, and I grabbed them. Didn't even think twice. I grabbed them, and they're just perfect. So, that's it for this shopping haul. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be sure to turn on that notification bell, like I mentioned earlier. It looks like a bell. That will just keep you updated whenever I upload a new video. And comment and share. I love reading your comments. You guys leave the best comments ever. And again, I just want to say thank you for all of your support. We're growing and we're going to continue to grow. And I hope you all have a fabulous weekend. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.